What is good? It is your boy, Jim Mizie, back at it with another, oh yeah, with my second review your music segment. This time to celebrate my 400 subscriber milestone and to kick it off, thank you. Like, for real, like 400 isn't even like that much, that big of a deal, but still, I, um, it's still, I met, I met a lot of talented artists, like, who've reached out, shared their music. I met other hip hop heads, music enthusiasts who've shared music with me. Uh, and just like some cool ass people to like, I don't know, form some sort of internet social circle. So uh, I, I appreciate that, honestly. I, I do even though 400 is, isn't like that big a deal at all. Um, but yeah, I did, this is really just my way of, I guess, giving back, like just wanting to shed light to other talented people other talented artists who may not have a, a big following at all. So essentially, I just tweeted out a tweet and said, if you want your music to be reviewed and reacted to by me, just reply to the tweet and I'll go through the list and I'll, I'll definitely try to get to you. And it's not it's not that many people. I think about like 20 people replied. I'll, I'll, I think last time I did around 12. So it's probably going to be the same, about 12, 13 songs. Um, and if, if I don't get to you, I, I plan on doing these like over and over like in the future. So just continue replying and I'll, I'll for sure, I'll, I'll see like, oh, this person replied before. Like I'll, I'll put them like on the top of my next list. But yeah, I mean that there's not really uh, any further introduction needed. Uh, we can just kick it off by listening to some of y'all's raps, beats. I do all like, I don't know what genres y'all do. I mean, I feel like most of my audience are like more hip hop enthusiasts, but I, in the past, I've had guys doing like EDM, like trap. So whatever comes, I'll try my best to give an honest reaction and hopefully um, a helpful review or feedback. But hey, thank you again, thank you. And let's, let's listen to some music. All right, first we got uh, my guy Ogbar uh, with the song When You're Young. Looks to be off of a project titled Brooks and Stones. That extremely reminds me of Kanye, like Kanye, the, the way he's chopping up that sample, that definitely like kind of old school Kanye. Um, oh, that is, that is nice. I'm guessing this is probably just like a beat tape, just an instrumental, but already has my attention. I, I don't, I don't see the need to, I mean, yo, if somebody were spitting on this, that'd be crazy. But um, yeah, if, if, a, if production, if you can produce a beat that, can grab a person's attention without having any lyricism in it especially in like this type of genre where like lyricism is heavily appreciated um then you're doing something right honestly kick off the video that was a uh, that was an excellent song um I, I did i i mean it was just the instrumental just the beat but still like it had me rocking i, I felt it um i really i like the i like the sample the vocal one and the way that was chopped um throughout the song um it, it def that i think that was kind of what really reminded me of of kanye that was like really reminiscent of like old kanye um, because it was kind of like chipmunked, um, like ch I think it's like called like chipmunk soul, whatever. Uh, the beat of uh, the, the drums, the drums were, were very well placed, very punchy, very good. And, um, I don't know there was like other instruments in it, um, that I, I couldn't like exactly figure out what it was, but beautiful, very, really nice track. Honestly, I, I'd be interested to see 
or hear somebody rap on that. But uh, yeah, that was all bar with um, when you're young. When you're young. All right, it looks like next, uh, the next artist, next song we're featuring is um, Disguised Memories by my guy Nebula. Um, it's just released like three days ago, so I haven't heard it, but um, this, uh, I did listen to the, the single that he dropped like maybe I think like a month or so ago, Shadow Walk, A1 track, uh, pretty excited for this guy's project. Um, so it's a three minute track, which uh, is pretty long, I'd say, like nowadays. So yeah, let's get into it. Disguised Memories by Nebula. Life is spitting, not new problems, I feel disrespected I'm trying to focus, I'm way too broken, my lungs affected The world is wicked, it's way too twisted to get corrected I saw the look on my granny face when her brain was hectic oh. I didn't kiss her, but I... Oh, alright, already, I gotta, I mean, you automatically notice that there's an absence of drums He's just rapping over like this really like slow, jazzy almost woeful instrumental um like uh, led by a saxophone i think you do hear um like uh i think a piano as well and like maybe like a um oh what what is that that part of the drum called but yeah there, there, there isn't like a kick or or anything it's it's not punchy it's very it's very dramatic it seems like um, almost like he, like he's like performing spoken word at like a jazz club. That's kind of the feel that I get listening to that. And uh, his lyricism already is, is is pretty is pretty good. I like the the imagery. But uh, let's continue. It's a cold world. Where it's gone. It's a cold world. Uh, seems to be talking about the loss of his uh of his grandmother. Um. Uh, there might be a switch up in this. Let's, let's hold on. What new place do you Well, well, well I, I expect to go to hell. So. Okay. Um. Yeah. So it seemed like it. it um. Oh yeah. That that was some heavy stuff at the end. So it seemed like uh, it, it kind of like uh, will fit like in a, in, a, in some sort of album theme. Um. But the first half of the song was the actual song. And that that was it was really good. That was really nice. Uh, like I said, it was just him rapping over like this extremely old school jazzy um, instrumental, just jazz instrumental. And uh, it seemed to him, it seemed like he was reminiscing, um, or I don't know, talking about the experience of losing his grandmother and how it affected him, his relationship with his mom. Um, it seemed he he talked about a lot of anxiety, a lot a lot of um, a lot of things that, that seem to, you know, revolve around anxiety and even depression. So a lot, a lot of heavy stuff, definitely dealing with loss. Honestly, the lyricism reminded me a lot of like Navy Blue, very just like honest, just, just speaking from the heart, uh, not focusing too much on like writing some crazy rhyme scheme, but still, still obviously being able to rap and rhyme words. Um, I, I like some of the, the there were quite a few flows rhyme schemes where I was like I really like that or like the imagery that he used to describe a certain feeling um yeah I, I like that I like that L looking forward to this guy's album Nebula alright so far alright two songs in he, both have been A1 songs honestly like pretty good no lie alright next we got my guy um E I believe he recently changed his name. I believe um, no, he's also known as Some Duke or Literally. One of the, honestly, one of the best uh, YouTube producers on, like, yeah, on, on YouTube, like, making making beats. Uh, this guy, uh, extremely talented. I believe I also, like, began, like, kind of met him through this channel um, or, or somehow it was connected with them through a guy that I met through this channel or whatever. So um haven't haven't listened to the song either. Um called Snake Fu. Um and yo this 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 dude produces and raps so I'm I'm ready. 
ready to react to review it's a, it's a minute and 19 song and uh, a minute and 19 seconds long so let's get into it e snake food Cause my wings blow up over blunts I'm trying to validate this fool's gold you want It's fake clicks, fake drips for the lonely ones It ain't shit, snake food, make cobras come Real stick, meal scout when your bowl is crumbs oh. Collect real connects over phony numbers I see shifts, we splitting from the corn syrup We know the over and doors, we know we over our skulls My dad has shown me the ropes, he told me classic oh. and you know we over our skulls over your head i like that yeah I, I like when when people use like a common phrase but like reword it or like you know take replace a word that um that's like a synonym or something like that i like that i i'm ooh, i'm a sucker for that i like that we all and and so far just 30 seconds in his ryan scheme is 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 intact like uh it's it definitely reminds me of mf doom like he he stays in that pocket and like keeps that rhyme scheme going with each line so i have heavily appreciated we crack from the mold, been in a ring and me up my man in a box is made where the rain here's doing damage to mine but rain stain disappear when my clan on my side so they I, li I like that Mayweather bar and having it um, tie into like him. Uh, he said something about rain, so like that that obviously ties into Mayweather storm. Okay, short and concise track, um, but it's straight to the point. Honestly, he, the BK man, he did his thing with his raps, great verse. Uh, stu stuck to the rhyme scheme. I think, I think pretty much probably this, the entire verse was like the, like the same rhyme scheme and keep like keeping. And then it wasn't boring. Like it's not like he stuck to a rhyme scheme and it's like, bro, you gotta switch it up or something. Like it, it was a it was a pretty um uh like advanced rhyme scheme. So I I appreciate that he stuck to it. Um and the 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 beat obviously really really nice. Uh, I think it's like kind of like a, a horn horn sample that that was like the main uh, the, the the main sample on there which immediately grabbed my attention, bro. This guy's drums are so good, so good, and uh, the the vocal mixing as well. It's lo-fi. It's kind of muddled. So at times it was like kind of like hard to hear like what he was saying, but um, bro, that's that honestly that I love I love that sound. I mean even with uh, some rap songs, a lot of Mike, um, a lot of like slums um, artists, they or like underground hip hop artists, they use like that muffled lo fi uh, vocal mixing because it just sounds like it sounds authentic, but it also like I feel like it's a throwback to like the 90s, like where, where you know rappers were like handing out cassettes and it, it sounded it just sounded like that and it just gives that gives you that raw, gritty hip-hop feel like it like that wu-tang because i remember listening to wu-tang first like old dirty bastard and i was like i cannot understand what this man is saying not because of like his voice but like the mixing like literally it was the mixing i was like i don't know it's just so muffled it just sounded like he was like talking through like i don't know like through his hands or something but uh, I've, I've grown i've grown to really appreciate it. I've, I've grown to really like it no lie so three tracks in no complaints. Let's see. Uh, let's see who who got next. All right. Next song is uh, Kalon, another talented ass dude. He can rap for real. Um, he got the flow down, uh, lyricism. Yeah, may have released kind of. I don't know. Yeah, just recently. But uh, let let's hear some raps. Yo 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 yo. To the dome, I'm drinking all of it until the glass gone and I can't tolerate it. Then I'll probably see me some more. The vest will my way to the door. Be up behind the wheel and I'm gone. Pedal to the middle, it's out of the middle. Pedal's my fed up and what I'm wrestling. Okay, pedal to the middle. I think that's a real reference. To the dome, I'm drinking all of it until the glass gone and I can tolerate it. Then I'll probably see me some more. Vessel my way 
to the door. Get behind the wheel and I'm gone. Pedal to the metal, it's out of the metal kettles. My fiddle be what I'm wrestling. Oh, that, that, what, that rhyme scene right there, that pocket. Oh. Also, another really jazzy instrumental, but um, you got the drums in there that really grab your attention. But the horn is is, is that's that's the main the main sound that you're that you're listening for. Was well, not disappointed again. It came through with the raps, flow, um, a one, but the the rhymes like the internal rhymes and. Um, I also have to say, I, I was really impressed with the mixing as well. The vocal mixing was really well done. Like, it, it was like glitchy at certain points and it seemed to be like shifting from left to right speakers. Really, it really uh, added flavor to the song. Yeah, bro, rap, raps there, flow, lyricism, uh, and just his demeanor as well. Um, like, like, not, like, like his delivery, his delivery was like nonchalant, but still like, I don't know you still like wanted to listen, like it still grabbed your attention. Man, I, I like what he, what he was rapping about too. Like there was like a segment in there where he was like, I think like talking about like alcohol, like drinking to the dome until he can't, and even then, like what, I think he said he like he'll, he'll drink some more, like he'll continue going and then drive on home. So yeah, I, I yeah, it's pretty pretty good. I like that. Um, oh, it's four songs in. And y'all, y'all giving me these high quality songs, bro. Like, bro, I'm blessed. I should, y'all, y'all shouldn't have. Y'all, y'all doing too much. All right, next guy, my guy, uh, Jay Cinema, with his song "Distance," produced by. Right, I don't know how to say his name, but is it? Is it? I don't know. Piss dot i, p i s dot i. I don't know, but also another one of like the best producers on YouTube making like Mike and Earl slums like a day six press um, sloss and tight beats. Honestly, like he, he got that like glitchy kind of like distorted uh, hip hop underground uh, production, like pretty much down. And even like his own like his own like personal beats. A one, this this kid is is hella talented. And uh, Jay Cinema, also, he got raps for sure. He can flow really smooth. Um, haven't heard this song either, uh, called Distance. So let's get into it. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, already got yeah, that I'm glitchy. Walking, but I don't know the distance. Where am I going? Shit, I know I'm on a mission. I gotta get it. Mm. By any means necessary, so scary. Any means necessary, so scary. Getting better every January. I had to hop on that porch. My mama said I'm a force. Mm. I keep that flame like a torch. I know my voice is so hoarse. I'm on a mission. I gotta get it. By any means necessary. It's a, it's a catchy so hook. Scary. I like it. Getting better every January. Yeah, I'm walking. And, and it's like, it's a feel good track as well. Shit, I know I'm on a mission. I gotta get it. Like it's empowering, honestly. I feel like, I feel like it really is. But like you on a mission. Hey, hey, he walking, but he don't know the distance. But he's still walking. That's the point. Alright, yeah, I, I like that track. One thing that I that I don't know, like that I was that to say that I was like really feeling for it, but like, that, like I felt like wasn't happening uh, with the beat. Like I was expecting like a bass or like like I don't know like the bass to come in at, at a certain point, um, but it, it didn't, and so I, I felt like like something was like missing. I feel like as soon, if if you could have like added like some some sort of bass or like drum or like kick in there um, or like the, made it maybe made it a little bit stronger or like punchier um like i would have been like extremely in but yeah i really like i did like the production like yeah immediately could tell that i was like um pis.i uh production it's a bit glitchy 
um, vo the vocal sam uh, sample extremely reminiscent of Six Press, like extremely sounds exactly like it. Um, but like he's still doing his own thing, so it's like his own sound curating it. And Jay again, like yeah, he 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 has like I feel like he has that charisma when he's rapping. It's just that you, you usually that you just pay attention to that like you really gravitate towards. Um, and like I said, this is kind of like a feel good track. Like you, this is something you bump like when you're trying to like, uh, I don't know, when you're in your good mood and you're trying to like, you know, like encourage yourself, motivate. It's a, it's a motivation song, to be honest. Now, I like that. You know, another good track. Uh, bro, my people are so talented, bro. All right, next guy. It's my guy, uh, Huey Fisherman. Uh, a song called Death World. It's to be produced again by PIS.I and Rare Boy. And I believe I've seen I've seen that name in on YouTube. I believe he also you know makes like is also a producer on YouTube that makes beats reminiscent of like new Earl kind of glitchy slums type beats. So um I yeah, yeah, let's let's dive into it. Let's let's hear them raps, bro. Leaning corporate, that's been scheming for my head. I've gone close to peak to demon in my eyes. Locomotives hitting different, who they feeling like? Specs can keep the 40, but for sure we keep the prize. Landing on the island where the king is pure demise. Green and water distortion. Fuck anybody in the way of my immersion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like really like kind of like a sinister type song just like in your face sinister dark beat it's so seducing how my problems oh. have been duck themselves gotta switch up so play this shit at my funeral do not hurt yourself stay alive in the moment and keep your home in hell the quality is fucking golden when you need some fucking help it's so seducing how my I like I like the contrast between the two tracks. Um, this the, the second half seems to be more encouraging. Um, so wanting to uplift. Uh, nice, nice track. Uh, that's okay. Yeah, I can get behind that. Um, like I said, bro, I love Switch Up so much. If they're like two songs in one, it's like oh, it's like a bonus thing. Um, but okay yeah good track i like it. solid raps as well the production as well as production and the first half very dark sinister and the way he was rapping was you know like very confrontational and um you know it, you know, essentially some people get like out of his way like he's he's he, like he's on his way to, to, to becoming who he's meant to become but um yeah confrontational sinister dark Ah, uh, um, and yeah, so the lyricism matched the beat, the production, and, and the raps were solid, but like, I don't know, at, at times, like the uh, the rhyme scheme, I, I was hoping for a, something a bit more, but then the second half was, it's, it's like a, yeah, I don't know, it's like just definitely a contrast. It's like he's telling them, like, they play this at my funeral and, um, you know, keep keep love in your home. So definitely more encouraging, more I guess you can say wholesome. Um, and then the beat also matched that. It was more, uh, not I would say exactly like uplifting, but softer. You know, like definitely not definitely not dark. I wouldn't describe it as dark, but I like it. I like it. Both both uh, beats experimental, uh, so I always appreciate that. But uh, so solid track, solid track, bro. We. Oh, uh, well, that was what the fifth was that sixth? Uh, we're going on like thirty minutes now. All right, who we got next? We got uh, Logan with the song Blade. Uh, let's see. For my blade, then I slash and dash. Hop in the whip, then I crash too fast. Down in designer, I splash and trash. Slice of you will be the gash and pass. Pass to the right, then I pass to the left. Running that mouth, it'll be your last breath. Oh. All the way you're thinking, God, cause I'm blessed. Huh? Who can contest? Letting it pause, then I let it ride. If they is down, can make a side. If I make bread, you know what divide. You really should have complied. Might as well start a. Alright, so.
so already a very different vibe from the last like five songs that we played this is more um de definitely more trap influence but i think specifically like we're talking about artists like i don't i don't listen to them that much but from what i've heard this seems to be uh kind of like uh influenced by uh, suicide boys or um and then honestly like as soon as he came in i was almost expecting like a puya flow like like uh bro, where did he where did he steal that flow from uh bone, bone thugs i was expecting that like the da -da 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 -da. um but no this this is nice as well I, I think the flow is is what definitely reminds me of like suicide boys and uh the beat is like um I don't, I don't know what you would call it like that that harmony or that melody it's like it's like a flute i, I, I want to say it's like maybe like asian like some like music from over there apparently i'd say maybe um but i like it, it it's good it's, it's catchy and the way that he's flowing on there and also his lyricism already he seems to be uh talking about like i, I, I want to say he was talking about like swords and knives and like blood and like so it already already like makes like the sort of imagery and i feel like the music because i for whatever reason i'm connecting it with like like this this asian like instrumental flute music it's like it gives me like this imagery of like the samurai kind of ninja type type thing i don't know that that's just what be going on in my head when i be listening to music but let's continue yeah, Yo, oh, and the, the song right name is blade so yeah no these ain't no arrows. I am the prophet, I'm not the pharaoh. Forgiato sitting right on Camaro. We the good fellows, no Robert De Niro. Mm. He said, "Did he say I'm the I am the prophet and you're just the pharaoh?" And that, that's a reference to Moses, which is pretty dope because I mean Pharaoh is a really big deal. I mean it is. I think in Egyptian culture, it was a god, but hey, in the end, like it was just like some raggedy ass like prophet who took him who took him down so I, I, I if that's what he said i like that for sure um yep yeah, dope track like that as well um a bit of a, a switch up in in sound uh from from the last tracks but yeah dope track logan logan uh song blade all right next song is um damn god uh by dyron miller uh, and it seems like it's self-produced as well. So, yeah, not nah, yeah. Let's let's get into this dude. Oh. I'd be hopeful in the mist, but uh, sometimes I feel, de but sometimes I'm depressed. Or what is? I like I like that line. Um, okay, and so far, uh, I I like the the um, the song. The the production is I want to say also like slum six press influenced. Um, you know, with the with the like the repeated like vocal um, vocal sample like just being repeated over and over again um the dr the drums however they're they're different they're they're not like the slums this one is more fast paced but not in a trappy way where it's like hi hats it's like um i'm not sure but it, it it's diff it's it's not like i've never heard like that drum pattern before but i haven't heard it on like this style of in like um uh, I, I guess i want to say maybe in, like this sub genre um so it's interesting to hear and his, his raps are solid his flow he's flowing pretty well um and like i said i, I like that that one line that he just said but uh yeah let's let's continue i don't know i don't know what it is about the drums it's like it sounds different for whatever reason i don't i don't know if it's because 
it's matched like with that type of in, like production, like the like the slums type of like vocal um, vocal distortion. But it's it's interesting for sure. Um, good song, solid song though, solid song. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, the the um, you know, the vocal sample, that whole thing, it, it the the uh, what is it called? Like, like kind of like the glitchy effect and like kind of that the stuttering um, distortion that they do, where they like kind of like repeat it over and over again, like in, a, in like a fast-paced way. Um, that definitely at least set six press Ade Hakim inspired. Um, but I don't know. I, I I'm still trying to decide if I like the drums or not because it it was different. But he pulled it off, right? And he was able to flow on it, able to rap on it. So, solid track, solid track. Uh, that was Dyron Miller, uh, song "Damn God." Rankings, your anus is plagiarist, hated and making up cadence to say this. Be waiting, I'm here to awaken their vomit in the darkness. My nickname be Satan, yo, I be complacent amongst the face these notes. They be guttural, deeper than basis. Deeper than basis. Deeper than basis. Aces hold it. Bases loaded. Aces hold it. The aces hold it. The base is loaded. Racist facing off the stoic. Bitch, racist facing off the stoic. Racist facing off the stoic. Okay, that was um, de decent track. Um, I did like, I really liked the instrumental. Very, very slow, vibey. Um, but yeah, I, I like that this guy, this guy can flow for sure. He can rap pretty fast. But uh, first I have to say that the, the vocal mixing was like, it didn't seem like it was mixed in like well like at all really um but um and then also at times like I, and i think it was the hook the, the hook was what kind of like was ca catching me off guard like it seemed like it was too stiff like the flow was was like very stiff um and it, it didn't like extremely like it wasn't smooth really but um yeah the he can he can rhyme uh, he was able to flow pretty fast rap fast um, I would I would just say work on um, I'll work on the the mixing for sure and um, I don't know flowing flowing more smooth you know um, so it doesn't seem as like as um, yeah as stiff I, that's the best way I can describe it as stiff or um, I don't know like constricted almost. So, a yeah, good track nonetheless. There were definitely like a couple uh, like lines in there or bars in there that like flowed pretty well where I was really catching the vibe and the beat um, and, and the lyrics. So, keep it up. That was uh, Sensei Shaggy with Stoics. All right, next we got Manila Taurus, his song Thinking of You, produced by Sarcastic Sounds. Yeah, this is uh, some throwback shit, you know? Uh, some shit I probably would've made like a year ago, but- Oh, I like snap. Hey, I, I used this beat. <laughs> I've been back on coffee, withdrawn, hell yeah, got me relapsing. Now I no longer can relax. Aiming of a moment, what up? People wanna see that this is feedback. Aiming for the A type before I fucking collapse, yeah. American atheist, my sexual Satanist. This might be my greatest shit. I'm on the beach to debate it quick. I ain't faking, I'm facing. I'll cool down a little on the second verse here. I'm a little uh, red in the face. So, you know, I feel like that's a good indication. <laughs> I like that. I, rap, rappers talking on the track, transitioning from one verse to the other. I'm singing to you and what the fuck we gonna do When I see the summer's passing, I'm still living in the past it Feels like life has gone too fast, I got this tape in the works And it's coming this year, I'm gonna drop it before I ever give up Cause fuck everyone who ever told me to give up Remember when I dropped, give up, fuck 
Okay. Right. Alright, so so far, um I I I like this this beat. I mean I like the I used this beat before, so like, yeah, th this is a pretty great beat for sure. Um, but yeah, okay. The, the one criticism I have, or the, the criticisms that I have so far, is the flow. It can, uh, it seems, it seems like he can definitely like he's able to find rhymes, but like the flow, almost like at certain points, like it almost like kind of. Um, falls apart almost you know or like where you were like kind of like doesn't like make it all the way to the end and uh, he either seems to rap too fast to try to make uh make the rhyme into the bar and then it kind of it, it sounds it sounds weird it sounds too rushed or then he has to like slow it down but like it's too obvious to make the rhyme to, to keep the rhyme in beat as well so I, I would just suggest, or, or, or yeah, I, I would just give a tip to, um, to make sure to like take your time writing to make sure that that either either like try to add words or like add syllables or remove syllables to make sure that that the um, that the rhymes just naturally go like on beat like with the flow, but uh, he de definitely have, have rhymes on there. Um, some some things some some lyrics on there a little like unnecessary but if it's like a playful song and like this is just a rhyme then i'm all for it but uh let, let's continue wonder if he even fucking thought about me i'm just glad that we cool again i was acting a fool again i was up in my feels now i was feeling depressed i say that i'm better but now i'm better than ever my flow's like a feather and i'm dying from this weather whatever yeah. you should probably go get together and chill and hang out because i'm missing my friends not even been a month in the summer ah oh, man like see see that's what i meant like him. it was like I don't know, it was like those 20 seconds that it was flowing really well and then it, I don't know it just kind of like I, I don't I don't know I, I don't know what it is but like it, it kind of like fell apart just a little bit like at the end but um yeah I, I I'd say to just like it, it definitely comes with practice bro I was I was I was just like my flow was terrible bro I I, I knew I could write like I was able to rhyme words but bro like it, it took it took me a while to like learn like oh like you have to actually write them in a way that actually like fits like on a beat but um but good track yeah it seemed like like um the last verse he was talking about someone that he used to be close with and he kind of wishes that he was maybe maybe back together with them but good track I'd say I'd say room for improvement, but n not trash for sure. There, there are good highlights in there, like good elements that I could see that if you were to continue practicing and progressing, that you could definitely make something pretty good. Oh, and he got a, an album coming out soon, I believe, called Solitude. So uh, yeah, that was Vanilla Taurus. Um, thinking of you, and uh, yeah, I believe he he had replied on my previous um video but i didn't get to him so I'm, I'm glad i got to react to and review his music this time next guy is uh dave goliath uh song woody shark boy shooters interesting title name i'm intrigued <laughs> I like the fiber optics line. I'm in I'm in networking, so that definitely appeals to me. That's that's like the first bar I've ever heard about fiber optics. That's funny. Hey, props to you, bro. This is good. Mm. Lot, 
love the instrumentation as well, the instrumental, the production. And that that guy, uh, Dave Goliath, he yeah, he flowed on that. That was that was very well done. Um, and like I said, I like the line about fiber optics. That was, that was really good. Very well done. Mixed extremely clean. Very, yeah, great. Still experimental. The production. Um, yeah. I, shoot. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep an eye out on on him. All right. We got uh, we got my guy Uncanny Dandelions uh, with his song Feather. All right, so it seems to just be instrumental, um, very ambient, kind of atmospheric, uh, definitely experimental. Ominous too. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So it was just the instrumental, no, no lyrics or, or uh, whatever. But yeah, very a lot, a lot of different kind of um, influences. I feel like, like kind of genres, like. Uh, definitely ambient, but also like yeah, definitely definitely experimental. Um, the the drums are very skeletal, um, as, as well as like some of the other instrumentations that were like kind of like chopped up in there. I think there was like horn somewhere, but yeah, so it's pretty good. I mean, for experimental like experimental ambient thing, like I like it. But yeah, that's it. Well, that's that's the last guy. This is yeah, this is kind of going on too long and my attention span is not that great <laughs> um yeah thanks thanks for watching uh thanks for subscribing thanks for uh i guess uh i don't know being some some like taking part part in, in this me just listening to music and giving my opinion on it um we've, we've gone through ups and downs bro you if you've been here in my nf video you saw you saw what happened all right so I, um, if, if, yeah, I, I appreciate all of you. Um, uh, I mean, without y'all, like I've had, I've had the opportunity to interact with some of the people that I reviewed now, which is a pretty big deal to me because most of the people that I'm reviewing, like I actually like, so it, that, that's been a great experience for me. And yeah, I couldn't, even though it's just 400, bro, it couldn't have been possible without, without you guys. So your boy Chimmy's yay um i'll also be linking everybody's music as soon as i get this video out and uh i'll tweet it out as well and link everybody down there as well uh thanks for sharing your music uh hopefully i didn't hurt any feelings uh they keep making everybody who sent music uh i keep making music um even if i have something to critique about it keep doing it like it's just my opinion um it's been your boy Chimmy's yay <laughs>